No two are alike, but they are all something to see. Mike Stevens looks at a few clouds in this visit to the Photolink Library. They are at times wispy, like these Kathy Moore sent in from Rome. Perhaps a bit of morning sun to highlight them. This from Christy Craigle, Wapolapan. Sheets of color at times is here in this morning on the Isle of Q from James Scheip, Sealands Grove. Personally, I prefer them in the giant economy size like this group from Diane Beckett, Mahanoy Township. A bit of sleeping trees and shrubs like these found by Cynthia Rond of Catawissa makes the image more interesting. From Tom Hip of Music, yet another shadowy example. There is always room, always time for a second look. Julie Bashline in Bendertown did that. Lost in the Beauty of the Sky, the title here from Kim Veragas in Archbold. True, the clouds do leave once in a while, but they always come back, eventually. And when they do, they often are better than before. A piece of art waiting to be captured, as Dan Hunsinger did in Kingston. A sheet of clouds spread out above us as here from Jim in Forest City. A sunrise in the company of some fine clouds to keep us looking if we choose. This is from Chester, Milwaukee, Lake Ariel. Here's another from Ron Polidori, Pleasant Mount. The sun, the clouds combine to light up everything around us. We often think of winter as a time when there is often little to do, and that's true. But for those who carry a camera with them, like Diane Hurley Long of Music, there is always something to do out here. The clouds help to make that happen. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.